In fact, I think a lot of things people learn are probably there's no point in, in learning them because um, they, they never use them in, uh, in the future. Because a lot of kids are just in, in school kind of puzzled as to why yeah. they're there. <laughs> well, oftentimes business education today, and I see it all the time, kids come out of college, the best colleges, Wharton and Harvard and Stanford and some of the great business schools, and they'll come out and they won't have practical experience. There's too many case studies that aren't practical. The people who are doing the work that we care about are figuring out what to do next, not following the person who told them what to do next. And the problem with most colleges is they are high school but with more binge drinking. The A students work for the B students, the C students run the businesses, and the D students dedicate the buildings. <laughs> the entire purpose of a good university is to give you a foundation to fail, not a foundation to get an A. Mm -hmm. And if you graduate from college with straight A's, you have to do some serious soul searching as to why you chose to spend your time doing that. You know, we ask uh, kids that are 16 to 18 years old to make $100,000 debt decisions when they go off to university. Where and they're not prepared for that. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. They just assume, okay, I'm going to pay four years of education at 25000 a pop, and when I come out the other side, somehow I'll be able to pay it back. Right. That's not how life works anymore. It's like the newspaper industry, right? More printing presses, more big buildings, right? Makes us look grander. We have brains that we're putting them out there. There's, there's a point of diminishing returns in terms of what it's worth for a college education and how much debt you're willing to saddle yourself with.